Can you believe your eyes, ears? You probably can't see me at this point. Can you believe it? I am making grilling content. I think it's been well over a year since I've made any kind of grilling video since then. This is my first ever mention, I believe, of this Workhorse Pits 1975 offset. Beautiful grill. It's massive. I wanna talk a little bit about offset versus other types of grills. So I come from the Kamado Joe world, been on that thing for, I think, the better part of five years, and just got the workhorse a year ago. And you're gonna be like, wow, you've had it a year, and you're, I can't scrape this and talk at the same time. I wanted to clean it while doing a video, but that ain't gonna work. You might be thinking, man, a year, you've, you haven't done any content in a year. That is correct. I really wanted to get decent at using this before I did any content. What's the point of me making offset content if I'm terrible at an offset? How am I gonna suggest what to do? So it's been over a year. I got this in October, 2021. Ordered it in May, 2021. This video is not specific to the workhorse, although I am gonna make a video about the workhorse. I think this thing's awesome. This is just more so talking about kind of the pros and cons of an offset versus a Kamado Joe, maybe a pellet smoker or something like that. Something that can be more set it and forget it versus an offset. I was watching a lot of Jeremy Yoder's content. That's the Mad Scientist Barbecue. He makes great content. And I was like, he is convincing me, like, I got to get an offset. Like, I, I, like I, I don't know what I'm missing, right? Um, and maybe I'm alone in that. Maybe there's a lot of other people out there that thought kind of the same thing, but I was like, all right, I'm going to try it. So I reached out to him and he pointed me to the workhorse. This is before he had done any content on the workhorse pits. And so long story short, I got the 1975. I start smoking on it and yeah, so I've got a year under my belt and here are some things that I want to point out to you. And they might be painfully obvious. And there's probably gonna be people that are like, Richard, you're a moron. You should have known these things going in. I did know them. You're gonna to have to babysit an offset smoker. You probably won't be able to be away from it for more than 30, maybe 45 minutes at the most. So if you're doing a long smoke, you're gonna to have to be around it quite a bit. So that's one thing to consider. At this stage of my life, that is that does drive me to the Kamado Joe way more. Just because I'm chasing around a two-year-old, we have another on the way. I'm a pretty busy guy working on a lot of other projects. Tying myself to the smoker every half hour for 12 hours, eight hours, thats it's just a big commitment. I understand it's like a first world problem. <laughs> um, additionally, temperature control, very challenging. Coming from the Kamado Joe, where it is a absolute breeze, and then you can get a temperature controller on top of that, which just makes it so easy. Temperature control, huge learning curve on an offset. And I know these, I knew these things going in, but I just want to share them with you. Um, it was really challenging. It took me months and months and months to really kind of figure out my method. And even then, I'll still have big temperature swings. Then let me let me kind of end with this. There's a there's a bunch of other differences as well, but I would also then say, okay, so you've got the temperature control issues, which you can, you know, you can get good at. There's a steep learning curve. You can get past that. You're going to be tied to it, but it would be worth it if the barbecue is just insanely better. Now, I fully understand that this is going to be something that's like, this is solely dependent on me, not the smoker itself. So I could just be bad at offset smokers. I don't think I am. I could be. I think the product that comes off of here is slightly better. Now, it's not worlds better in my opinion, and that's kind of what I was hoping for. It is slightly better. I just had a Christmas party. I did a brisket and some pork shoulders on here. I did a brisket on the Kamado Joe. And it had, it was a blind taste test. So I had both briskets out, and then one was, had a red uh, poker chip associated with it. The other one had a blue poker chip, so they were supposed to taste both. And then whichever one they liked more, take that poker chip, put it in our little ballot box. I had 30 entries. And I'm not kidding you, split down the middle. 15 voted for the workhorse brisket, 15 for the Kamado Joe. And you could say that, yeah, this is not, you know, great data, it's anecdotal, all that. Of course it is. But 
The product that I'm making off of an offset is not worlds better. It's not exponentially better than what I can do on the Kamado Joe. So a lot of times when it comes time to do something, if I have a busy weekend, I'm chasing Elliot around, or I wanna spend time with Elliot, or we need to run errands, it's just so much easier for me to do the Kamado Joe or maybe a, a pellet smoker or something like that. This definitely, if you're passionate about an offset, absolutely, if that's what you wanna get into, that's what you wanna master, absolutely go for it. And you might say, and you, and you might be right, Richard, you're just not good enough at an offset yet. That could be the case and maybe I'll get better. But currently right now, a year in, I feel like I've given it a lot of time and this is where I'm at. So I just wanted to be honest, let you guys know, this is not any type of indictment on Workhorse at all. I think Workhorse is an amazing company. They make an amazing smoker, which I will get into, but it's definitely a challenge. I've had a big learning curve and I still am not where I wanna be with this product, but I just wanted to let you know, this is like my full, honest, maybe you shouldn't get pulled into the hype. Maybe don't, don't let Jeremy pull you in to getting that offset. I, I kid, if you want one, absolutely go out and get it. Definitely take a look at the Workhorse Pits. Um, but I just wanted to let you know. So I hope this video is helpful. If you're in the market for some type of smoker, if you're, if you're going after that exceptional backyard barbecue, I hope this video is helpful in helping you decide between what you're looking for. This is just my experience. Thank you so much for watching Break It Yourself. Merry Christmas, we're almost at Christmas. And we will see you next time. Oh, don't forget to thumbs me up. If you found this helpful in any way, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. I'm definitely not gonna finish in time. My wife was like, do you have 10 minutes? Richard, why aren't you producing more content? Well, I got things going on, boys and girls, and this is a hobby for me, not my real job, so that's why. All right, I gotta finish this up. We gotta hit the road.